So I am super stressed right now because I am qualifying soon. Uh, the qualifying exam is something that PhD students have to take to advance into candidacy. Um, so to become a PhD candidate, you have to take this oral exam that is often paired with a written exam. Uh, where you basically present your thesis research and your thesis plans to a committee of professors that uh, you've chosen um, who have some sort of expertise in your field. And then the committee, this group of professors who watch you present and also read through your documents, um, can then decide if you deserve to stay in the program, basically. So from my understanding, um, no one in my program has really failed this exam before. Um, everyone passes quals generally. I know that you can pass conditionally in the worst case scenario, but um, yeah, I don't think anyone has straight out failed in the past decade, so I'm not too worried about that, but I think just having a ton of deadlines is really stressful. But I think this will be a really good chance to sort of, you know, get my thought processes together, form better hypotheses regarding my thesis, and so I don't think it's going to be a waste of time, but really I think I'm going to have to focus on quals for the next couple of months. <laughs> like to wish you were someone else anybody else but yourself have you ever felt the gravity of life pulling you down treading water as you slowly start to drown scrolling through my socials and i feel so alone friends all at a party while i sit here at home Smiling in a picture, but it's sinking my soul Cause I feel like someone I don't even know It is currently Sunday. Um, I submitted my first required document for my qualifying exam last Friday. Uh, I honestly haven't been very productive since Friday because I also gave a lab meeting presentation. And it seems like there's kind of a lot that I need to fix for my written proposal and my thesis project, but at the moment I, I really need to focus on making a journal club presentation. PowerPoint for the presentation I have on Wednesday. I've been really busy just writing up, like reading the paper first of all, but also writing up the summary for that. And then I have pretty long days in the lab this week. I am honestly <laughs> burnt out and I can't imagine being more productive. I just don't want to do anything anymore. For the past month I feel like my productivity level had to be up here to even get stuff done on time. Uh, and now I'm like really nearing the end of my hyper busy days. But it's just really hard to sort of get to the end <laughs> and keep my productivity level up here when I really just want to be down here. <laughs> I woke up with this pain in my neck At 
no medicine to keep me in check You know exactly what to say to keep me wrapped up in these chains While I'm here choking on regret, yeah You got a couple tricks up your sleeve Taking advantage of my low self-esteem To leave my bank account empty And your message always pending My life is so out of order right now. I, uh, first of all, think I might have lost my wallet, which has like all my cards in it, and my student ID and my driver's license. So now I have to get everything replaced. Honestly, I lose everything. But I haven't really lost anything in a while, so... I've sort of just been waiting for this to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I lose everything and so this kind of thing doesn't really stress me out that much anymore. But also it's kind of a hassle because there's so much going on and I have to now take care of this extra thing. Ah. So I have a journal club presentation tomorrow for uh, this journal club class that all neuroscience students are required to take for their first three years. Uh, this quarter is the quarter that my cohort is supposed to present. Um, and so I'm presenting tomorrow. I'm a pretty good public speaker. I generally don't get really nervous with public speaking, um, but... I'm pretty nervous for tomorrow. Um, I guess that's because 
I've never presented something super scientific to my peers. It's kind of scary because you have like two other years in your program and some of your professors who are um, judging you on, <clears throat> on your ability to analyze paper. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty nervous and you're timed and you're graded and your peers have to submit feedback for you. I should probably practice presenting. I just finished my slides. Yep. I haven't really read through the paper that well either, so... <sighs> I just finished my presentation for Journal Club. Yeah, you know, uh, originally I wanted to be more productive, go into lab, <laughs> generate more pre preliminary data before uh, my qualifying exams. But I think I'm gonna just relax for a couple of days before I leave for a conference I have this weekend. So yeah, I think I'll journal, uh, read this book for a book club that I'm signed up for that's meeting tomorrow. I haven't started reading it yet, but I think I have to read at least a few chapters before going to the book club. <sighs> so tired. There's something I still hold in. I'm too ashamed to show it, but I feel like I'm never enough. And I fear I'll mess everything up I'm haunted by the notion That all the doors are closing Do you lie awake thinking of us? Or will we made just to come all the dust? My heart beats heaven but you leave me questioning if I That I can't ignore Would you laugh in my face? Would you slam the door? What if I told you It's not supposed to But it kills me to think That you call me So I made these cookies And muffins These are blueberry muffins These are uh, peanut butter Vegan peanut butter cookies And vegan chocolate crinkle cookies And I prepared this tea Some decaf Some, some calf now I'm gonna pack it. I it up. Okay, so I'm dyeing my hair. Um, mostly because I, I think I look better with with dark hair. Um, and it's been a while since I dyed my hair. I had to give my hair a little bit of a rest. Um, or my scalp a rest because my scalp is really gross right now from bleaching and dyeing my hair so much. But anyways, I am finally dyeing it darker again, which is good because my roots have come out and so my hair is again a little bit uneven. Um, there's that gradient thing going on. So yeah, I'm gonna dye my hair a little bit darker so that my committee members take me a little bit more seriously for calls. Um, not that most people in academia really care, but you know, um, yeah, there might be more traditional people on my committee. I don't know. So I got these Revlon hair dyes. This was the darkest color I could find, unfortunately. I wanted to go a darker brown, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to do with this. I hope this is darker than my current hair color. Anything to make it like a browner shade instead of this blondish brown. Uh, and then also to, to blend better with my roots would be great. So I practiced my presentation like three times so far. It's just a really long presentation. It's like 45 minutes long. I'm talking like super, super fast throughout it <laughs> because it's supposed to be 30 to 45 minutes long. 
but I couldn't really shorten it any further. Ugh. <sighs> Roll the possibilities and everything I used to be out of reach. I'm back where I started, empty handed, heavy hearted, hanging on to memories. It feels like I'm stuck in the deep end. I'm reaching out for a Life update, I am officially a PhD candidate. Actually, no, I think I need to actually apply for candidacy um, after quals, but, but I passed. I passed quals. It was kind of stressful. Um, one of my co-mentors didn't show up actually. Um, so that was stressful, but I was still able to pass because all of my voting members attended and voted to have me pass. It's a very exciting moment in my life. Um, that was last Friday. It's currently the next Friday since I passed and I've just been super lazy <laughs> and resting, which is good. Um, and, you know, just exercising. Um, I will be completely honest, I've never felt this tired in my life. I don't know what it is. Um, Maybe just like being so focused on quals and and preparing and trying to do research all at once. And uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing me suffer through this video and <laughs> I will see you next time in my next video. Don't need to pretend that you're fine. It's just a matter.